Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY Dollar Tree photo booth that looks like a BW bug. I did this for Lisa's birthday. You're going to need these trifold poster project boards. You need two of them from the Dollar Tree as well as some duct tape. Now, you can get these products at the Dollar Tree. It's always the cheapest. That's why we call it a Dollar Tree um, DIY and packing tape. We'll also need some sort of cutting device and a scissor, but a straight edge or a retractable blade. Again, you can get it at the Dollar Tree. You can't get the glue gun, but you can get the glue sticks. <laughs> And then we're gonna use a marker or paint. Now I'm gonna show you that you can use craft paint like this, or you can use uh, spray paint, which I'll show you in a second. You're also gonna need two of these lights. This is an option. This is just to make it light up. Um, this is the spray paint I'm using because I couldn't find the color. Um, and I'll show you that we're gonna use this masking tape as well as um, some craft paper to mask off the areas that we don't want painted blue. Okay, and all of these uh, supplies except the spray paint can be found at the Dollar Tree. First thing you want to do is peel off the stickers because we're actually going to um, tape all, tape the two boards together and the sticker was kind of in the way. And what we've done is we've taped these up. We've lined up the ends and the folds and we're using duct tape along the back because um, you're not going to see it. And then we're going to use packing tape along the front. Um, originally I was going to just spray paint the whole front of this white and then blue, but then I realized I could just fold the boards on the inside. And I'm marking and cutting on the back because so I don't want to see the pen. Um, I'm making the windows. Um, I basically found a picture on Pinterest and I'm kind of going with their design. Um, how I got this shape and size was the cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. Um, basically got the shape from that and just made it a little bit wider. And I used my ruler and straight edge to Why cut I it. slices didn't get sliced. The other pieces are still attached. So as I said there, you just turn it back over and you see if you didn't go through all the layers, you just do it very carefully. You want to make sure you have a sharp knife um, when you're cutting through this because otherwise the front cardboard might um, drag and rip as opposed to cutting. Okay, And you're going to repeat this for both windows. Um, what I did was I cut all of the straight sides and then I very carefully went on the curved edges around the curved corners. All right, now I'm sticking the windows back in just for stability. So I've taken a piece of craft paper, the width of the van, and I've folded it in half lengthwise, so the half here. And now what I'm creating is I'm, the area that we need to mask off to stay white so that the bottom of the VW van can get blue, and I'll show you that with photos. So I've just picked a shape. Um, I looked at a few different samples and sometimes they look um, basically just like straight lines, but sometimes they look curved because the front of the van kind of has a little curve to it. So depending on how you looked at it, well, I decided to make mine a little curve. But then when I took out the tape to mask it, I realized straight lines would have been better. <laughs> but this did look fun and flowy. Just like Lisa, fun and flowy. And just like we made hearts when we were in grade school, we're folding it in half and we're cutting one side just so we can get the shape when we open it up again. And if you want to make your paper a little wider, you can, but this is just for mask off the areas that we want to keep white. Okay. And now I'm just centering and I'm making sure I just have it even where I want it. Again, you be creative, you do your own thing. All right, and then make sure you have a place evenly left to right. And then we're gonna start masking around it. I'm just gonna use a few pieces of tape to hold it down. And then I'm gonna use masking tape. Now the best way to do it around a curve is to use pieces. Um, if you can get it straight away, then you go ahead and you can use like a long piece like that. But for all of the uh, curved edges, we just do like little pieces. Or I can show you here how you can kind of walk it around. Um, and what I mean by that is the masking tape will curve, but it'll make like bumps. Uh, as long as the even part 
is the line that you're trying to make um, even and basically the edge is not where the bumps are um, then you'd be good okay so I'm trying a couple of different pieces and there's how it looks like all curved up and this is what I mean by um, the edges so you see how the edge is even but the tape that hits the paper is kind of like bumpy and that's okay as long as the edge that hits the um, board is even now I did have one fly up and one mishap but oh well um, and now I'm just showing you how I cut out the license plate I took one of the windows and I put the craft mat over it to create the shape and then I'm just using my scissor or you could use your craft knife again but I just want to show you cardboard does cut with a scissor you just don't usually get it to be as clean and neat okay now um, like I said you could use your straight edge and your ruler or you can use your scissor scissors good around the corners and then what I'm going to do is I'm taking the other window the cardboard or actually this to the rest of the cardboard after I cut out the um, license plate and I fold it in half and I made two side view mirrors this is optional not all the ones that were the samples from um, internet had um, windows um, side view mirrors I'm sorry um, and those who did had all different shapes and sizes so I just picked a random size and then I did was I cut one used it to trace the second one and uh, cut both of them and now I'm covering the entire thing with duct tape you want to have a little bit hang over the edge um, on the side so that you can wrap it um, and then we're going to attach it with duct tape but unfortunately some of the film got corrupted but I basically just put duct tape on the mirror and then on the board in the front and the back okay and they flapped around a little bit that was kind of fun the kids really enjoyed that and then I just rolled over right. the tape over all the edges kind of like when we did the contact paper um, especially around the curve you want to just go ahead and roll your hand over and then just repeat with the second one and here's what I wrote on the license plate. Nothing fancy. You can print something out from the internet. You can use fondant from the internet and just copy it if you want to. Um, and now that we've masked off the whole board, we're taking it outside and we're going to spray paint it. Like I said, this spray paint was $3.68 at Walmart. I used hardly any of it. I'm like less than a quarter to do this whole project. But, um, but still, you know, you could use craft paint if you wanted. Um, the Dollar Tree sells occasionally sells these little foam roller um things in the in the crafts in the tool section excuse me so maybe you could use one of those if you have craft paint or whatever just to make it go faster but i really wanted to get like this blue that lisa loves so i went ahead and i got it from walmart and the best part about it is it dried super fast so you were able i was able to peel it off and it peeled off so cleanly i just had one little tiny boo-boo where um, the paint, I didn't push the tape down the right and it started to curl up. And um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that silver duct tape once again and we're going to make bumpers. And just about every Volkswagen bus that I saw had a two-part bumper. Um, some of them were white and some of them were silver and chrome. So I just said, oh, let's do the duct tape. <laughs> and all of them had like a space between them. That's why I called it a two-part bumper. So it had two parts of the um, the front fender or front bumper, and um, some had like uprights that connected them. So that's what we're going to create here. All right. So we're just going to leave a tiny space between them, um, and I kind of put my license plate down to measure, um, you know, that the license plate wasn't going to be too high after I put the bumper on. So I use that as a guide as well. So one thing I forgot to mention was I took a styrofoam plate from the Dollar Tree and I cut a circle um, for the VW emblem and I spray painted it the same blue um, as the the blue background um, and then from the scrap of the from the scrap of the other window and then with the rest of the other window that's not the VW symbol I cut two upright bumpers. Um, and you'll see if you look at samples, you'll see when you see the final piece, they're, they're just, um, I rounded off the tops. They're just straight on the bottom and rounded off in the tops. And they're about three inches wide by about five inches long. So it's nothing fancy. And we're going to cover those with duct tape as well. Um, the same like we did with the side view mirrors. 
Now, I told you some videotape got corrupted, so I figured I could talk you through some of the things that you'll see a little bit better. Um, like I said, I took two styrofoam plates to make the headlights. Um, there were lots of other options. If you wanted silver headlights, you could use pie pans or cover them in foil or cover them in duct tape. That's entirely up to you. Um, but what I did was I, I kind of planned it on purpose. So I took a styrofoam plate and I cut the circle for the VW symbol out with the styrofoam plate. Then I cut the lip off the styrofoam plate and I used it to mask the VW because the VW is blue and around the edge is blue but the background is white so I figured that would be the best way to do it. And you'll see how easy that is when it is. So like I said, I'm just repeating this like we did with the side view mirrors, um, rounding over all the edges using my hands around the roll edges and then we're just gonna hot glue it right there we're just placing it to see how we like it first and that's where the circle is gonna go so these are the styrofoam plates and again I'm sorry the video got corrupted but what I did was I cut the lip off the plates as you can see right and then I used the lip um, to mask the VW so I took tape and I made the VW just from, I looked it up on the internet, and I noticed that the V and the W look like they're connected, but they're not. There's a little space. So I used my X-Acto knife to cut out that little space. And I taped that foam plate around the edge um, from the underside to, to mask it so it would stay blue. And then I covered everything um, that I wanted to stay blue with tape, and then I sprayed white. Sorry, my photographer is walking around. <laughs> and this I actually worked out really well um, as you could see here when I peel it off again it's not going into the showroom perfect but it came out really well I was very happy with it when I taped the foam plate down um, from the underside I also took um, pieces of tape wherever there was pieces of tape and I taped the plate down over where it said like VW that's why you could see tape there but peeling off masking tape in a project like this is so satisfying it took me a little bit of um, maneuvering with the tape to get the actual image, but it's actually quite easy because they're all straight lines. And other than cutting that little space between the V and the W, which if you're not confident with your X-Acto knife, you can just draw that straight line with a white paint pen or with white paint. I mean, that's fine too. I just, you know, was like, hey, let me hack it off. <laughs> but of course I picked this color because this is Lisa's favorite VW bug color. Um, so I wanted to make sure she had one that she really enjoyed. That's it. And then I just hot glued it. Um, well, here's what it looks like all finished. And you can see it's not a perfect circle. Um, you know, if you want to cut a perfect circle, you know, maybe get someone else to cut it for you. No, I'm kidding. Um, but this is how it looked. And like I said, then I just hot glued all the pieces on. And I'm really, really sorry that video got corrupted. The hot gluing the plate was a little bit more difficult. What I did was I hot glued in uh, north, south, east, and west. And then I went back over and I put glue around the edges to seal it. And when I was done, I stuck the push lights from the Dollar Tree on there. But I said, again, that's optional. I drew a straight line across the top to create the seam of the roof. And then that was it. I glued everything else on. So I hope you really enjoyed this project. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in learning how to make this one. Isn't Eden pretty? And that's our friend Martha. Um, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Bye.